This is about one of our favorite things. It's our beloved. And although this might not exactly be what we always do, because this one was carefully driven for, I guess, about what, the last 36 years, camera guy? 36, 37 was almost, 30, yeah. Oh, almost 37. Almost yeah. 37. Almost, yep, yeah, but not there quite yet. We're almost there now. I'm just kidding, guys. Look, this is a very nice, proper, we know these are a million mile, 300 SDs, W126s, Electric cars, and by the way, just a one owner vehicle. And on the interior, we're finished in the MD Tex Palomino color. And wow, it's a good color combination, and you can tell that it has been maintained well. Now, let's talk about where we actually acquired this vehicle. Camera guy, why don't you help me out in this video because this is more dear to you, yeah, in the history. Yes, oh, this car was purchased by a German friend of mine in 1983 brand new and i met him in 1998 when i came to naples he was one of my first customers i met his brother working at a mercedes dealership in naples when i worked there and when i opened up my own shop he came along and i serviced his car since then um very nice car um he had a own repair shop up in jamaica new york fixing Volkswagens from 1961 to about 1987. It was called Werner's Repair Shop. And he helped me out a lot. He was one of my first customers. And now it's my time to give back to him and sell his beloved car for him. Exactly. And so his son reached out to us and asked if we wanted to purchase the vehicle. And again, camera guy, although I always like to just call him camera guy and act like he is just that, that's not the truth. He's actually maintained and serviced this vehicle for the last, what, since? 22 years. Yeah, 22 years. So he knows this vehicle very well and with only 300 and how many miles? 74,000. 374,000 miles. And knowing- Barely broken in. There you go. And knowing that this is actually a million mile vehicle, right? With this completely infamous OM617 five cylinder cast iron Mercedes Benz turbo diesel engine. And we all know, again, that's basically an indestructible motor, guys. I mean, it goes forever. And look, with a shoebox full of tools. A multimeter, a shoebox full of tools, you can fix it anywhere. And, and, yeah, exactly. And you'll always uh, get to go. In fact, when the vehicle was purchased, it was purchased over in Germany. And the first 5,000 miles were driven throughout Europe. It basically took a tour throughout the throughout Europe and uh, the story is actually pretty incredible uh, from the Sun actually he just got off the phone with us telling about it and it, it's it's a very lovely story and this is a again one owner family loved family owned well taken care of well maintained look at that MB text guys look at that Palomino interior okay can I say it enough because I mean well obviously we know that there's like two things that are going to be left in the world. And what are those things? Cockroaches and empty MB decks. Decks. <laughs> <laughs> And that would be why it's actually pretty pristine. No. In indestructible, <laughs> you know? Indestructible, exactly. So, you know, even with those miles, it was well loved. And we certainly know the history. 
And we're going to share even a little bit more a little of that. Little and, and, here, yep. Yeah, there is some patina. Some little floors and a uh, small patina on there. But overall, the car is very proper for 374,000 miles. And I'm actually holding in my hand... An old Florida title. From 19... 86, I think, or... So 88, when he moved 88? down to Florida. Okay, so from 1988, that's going to be your Florida title, actually, or a copy of it, because, of course, we wouldn't want to lose that. But, yeah, we do have the, the Florida title, and that is the direct copy of it. And the floor mats are here. The original floor mats are here. Yeah, yeah. And you can see that the trunk space is still proper enough. The floor kit is here. There floor check, your, spare tire, yep, couple spare. extra parts for the road, fuel filters, some hoses. Just in case. Because he was a technician, so he knew what to bring when the car would strike yeah, and or needs anything, you know. He yeah, could exactly. fix it on the side of the road. Yeah. There's little blemishes here, I want to point out, on the quarter. And also here, a little rubbing would do good. Yeah, but I still actually consider the paint to be very shiny yeah. and a, in a proper condition. Again. We're almost at what thirty-seven years uh, years old. So, I say uh, let's take it out and just mm -hmm. show you guys what it, what it's like on the interior. Perfect. What I want to mention, maybe the pinstriping is a little worn off here. When you look closely, uh, that can be removed by a professional detailer to make it yeah or redone. It's, it's not. It's not. It's not a deal bad. breaker. No, not at all. Well, it shouldn't be. Okay, let's take go in and start it up. Yes. As mentioned, 374,730 miles, guys. Again, only only 374,730 miles on that odometer. And just to point out, uh, the tachometer here does not work pretty much. If you look at the engine compartment, it looks like a little black trash can and it is missing. I mean, you can get that from like any junkyard, I think, right, camera guy? Yes. Uh, so that it would be why that tachometer does not work, but uh, it's a very easy that fix. That little transformer is probably broken or defect, you know, that happens all the time. And sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Yeah, exactly. But look how good the oil pressure is. Let's open the gate so we can idle again. Yeah, so we're going to get moving up here so the, the gate Temperature going. is good. Um, you can go 80, 85 miles an hour on. Look at that oil pressure idling. So you've got that perfect oil pressure, as you can see. Almost three bars at idle with 374,000 miles. This one has no cracks. This is a None? seldom thing. No. That is almost impossible. There was no winter Actually. use. There was no winter use on this car. No. No so, rust at oh, all. Oh, when it spent its life, its first 5,000 miles in Germany, which, by the way, was its first service uh, before it came over to the United States, it actually uh, was never used in the winter when it was in uh, Jamaica, New York. And then uh, it was ended up shipped down to Naples or Marco Island. It's the same thing, basically, guys, if you uh, take a look at that. In fact, I think uh, the gentleman had installed this. Am I correct? Yeah, this is an accessory for Mercedes, looks like, from 19... 83. Yeah. That's so, probably worth money already. Yeah, right? There is the original books that we're taking books a look manual. at. The, yeah, and the owner's manual. And you... This is also the Carfax. I printed out. No accidents. No nothing badly on there. All green. Yeah, so... It was printed today. There you go. 2020. You can see. Accident-free, clean, clear Carfax. Sunroof is open. Yeah, because it does work. Yeah. This is a great father and son project, you know, if you want to fix it up a little bit, couple little plastic pieces like here on the things, they are worth $30 last time from Mercedes. As we know guys, great fuel mileage in this vehicle and of course we do have that original Becker radio. And check out the wood grain throughout, I mean it's still very proper, just like that dashboard and as we already mentioned, having a crack free dashboard is not easy and to And cold find. air condition. And very cold. <laughs> Very cold air conditioning for sure. <laughs> so let's do a little acceleration run what this diesel can do. Ooh, I want to know what this diesel can do. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I don't need to hold on too much. It's not going to push <laughs> it back to the seat, but it will slow and steady wins the race. 37 years later, go for it. Let's go. And stay on there. <laughs> Don't let off. Shift smooth. Nice shift. <laughs> it does. Actually, it does. And Very nice. 
Oh, wow. Yep. yep, I am actually very impressed. Most and you know what? Shift a little higher, it's not say. even that slow. If yeah. I have to be honest, I've seen, I have felt slower than that. That's for sure. Yep, that's, that's slow and steady wins the race <laughs> on this one. What a great machine. This oh, is the real machine. I still feel so lucky to drive these W126s. Love it. Yep, and a little Kia, it's gone to another 36 years. If you'd like to purchase this classic Mercedes-Benz W126 1983 300ST, give us a call at 239-263-8500. If you have one you'd like to sell to us, please be sure you text 239 248-2000 or you may call as well but you can send over some photos and the VIN number and miles and so on and tell us what you have and sometimes we'll just actually come to you to purchase your classic Mercedes-Benz. My name is Marianne. I do showcase the vehicles for you guys. Please make sure you keep watching, subscribing, sharing with friends and family and checking out our website for our current inventory at autohousenaples.com and I will see you on the next one.